One of the, my last days in the Navy, I was talking to a guy and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna actually have a hobby for the first time, like I'm gonna have time. And so when I got out, I started working at a steel mill and doing a farm. So I still didn't have time for a hobby. And uh, until 2020, when the lockdown hit and everything got way slowed down, so I started doing a lot more cooking. And um, my wife had been dabbling with sourdough and she'd gotten a starter from a friend of ours in Washington who she sent it out to us in 2019 through the mail. One day I just was like, I should be able to do this. And I, why can't I do this? And so I started uh, pulling that thread and learning about it and maintaining the starter and um, just everything about how that bread process is different. So you, you start pulling that thread and you find out like really good food takes time, you know, and it's a lot of attention to detail and, you know, when you really care about what you're doing, that comes out. But that first day she sold out before like 10 o'clock. And so then I just kept making more and more. I was sitting at work one day and I saw a guy had a bread oven for sale in South Carolina and texted her. I'm like, hey, we're driving to Greenville, South Carolina to buy this oven. Some things shifted around at my regular job and it put me in a position where I had to choose one or the other. I was either gonna have to stop the farmer's market early or I was gonna have to quit the job and really go for it. And uh, so that's what I did. Yeah, Rick's been great. He was very prompt, you know, getting back to me when uh, I, you know, submitted my application. Just so much information, you know, what I had asked for, but also kind of things, you know, providing me information on things that I hadn't thought about. And you know, just recently he reached out again with to, uh, put, to help me kind of network and give me some contacts for other producers that, uh, you know, people that are growing stuff that I might find useful, which was something I was having a hard time uh, trying to piece together is getting in touch with other growers and producers. So that was definitely a huge help. And, um, you know, he answered every question I asked and every question I didn't ask, so it was great. You know, the biggest thing is you don't know what you don't know getting started. And there's, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's people out there that, you know, have done it, that have the experience and the information. And, you know, you don't have to try doing it alone. You just got to uh, get, you know, make those connections, establish those relationships with people that have the information that you need. We've had such a positive response from the community about you know, making real food available to them. And the response from the community has been very motivating. and that just for the bread and so i want that to expand really as far as i can ideally you know i can't do all that myself so i'd like to find you know other people out in the community that are have the same kind of passions and that same kind of belief in real food and if they want to come on board and they want to start an artisan cheese shop you know i'd like to help them do that and i'd like to be a part of that too and bring more real food to the community